Hi folks, in this tutorial series, I'm going to show you how to create a maze or adventure game in GameMaker Studio. I'm going to take you through a number of the different steps. I'm going to break this up into a number of videos. Uh, you'll have the opportunity later to just follow along and create your game from scratch or look at and expand upon some of the um, source files that I'll provide as well. Okay, so I'm going to start out by creating a new game. And I'm going to save this in my case in my Game Maker Tutorials uh, folder. And I'm going to call this Escape from Alcatraz. Okay. And here we go. So now, uh, in Game Maker, I'm going to start out real simple by adding a few sprites, objects, and my room to get us started. In this first tutorial, I'll add the sprites. The, a couple of sprites, a couple of objects, and the first room, and I will get my main character just moving around in the room, and then we'll expand from that in the next tutorial. So I'm going to go to Sprites, Create Sprite. Now, um, I'll always enforce good uh, programming skills, and naming convention is important. So in this case, we're going to name our sprite SPR and I'll call my character Bilbo, okay? Now I'm going to load a sprite. Now, I have in my Game Maker, actually in my Game Maker Projects folder, um, I have a folder of resources, and I have sprites specifically for this game. I'll provide those as a resource as well. So I'm going to start out with my main player, okay? So here's the sprite for my player. And he's in there as a sprite, Sprite Bilbo. Once I click OK, the name will change appropriately there. And I am going to uh, create an object for Bilbo. And this will be OBJ Bilbo. And I will use that same sprite. And now, because this is an object, I can program the events and actions. I'll get to that shortly. Okay. I do want to at least set up that I have a first room. So I'm going to create a room. And I'm going to make the settings for this room. I'm going to make it uh, 1268 by 760. Okay. Um, and I'm going to, at the very least, put an instance of my character in the room. In here, I can choose whatever objects are available. And in this case, he's the only one right now, and I just placed him here. Maybe I'll move him down here. It doesn't matter. Okay? But now, he doesn't do anything yet because I have not programmed him. So, I'm going to program him to move left and right, and then I'm going to leave out the next part. And if you do use this source file, you'll take on the task of making him move up and down uh, based on what I'm doing here. Okay? So... Under Objects, Object Bilbo, I'm going to add an event. And in this case, I'm going to create an event that he moves to the left. Okay? And he is going to... this. These are the different actions here. And there are a bunch of different tabs for different types of actions. The Move actions happen to be right here. So I'm going to have him move left. This left at a speed of, let's say, 5. Okay? And likewise, I'm going to set it up so he, when I press the keyboard, he moves right at a speed of 5 as well. Okay? So now, when I play my game at this point, if I click the play button, it'll always let me test, and it's always worth testing the game over and over. I'm going to move right and left but if you notice, he doesn't stop. So that should be next on our list of things to do. Okay? So in this case, I'm going to make it that when I release the left key, he's going to... Now this, you got to just follow me here. I still want him to technically be moving left, meaning that he's still facing left, but I'm going to use a direction of zero. Now, the reason for that, as you'll definitely understand in time, is that if when we incorporate shooting in the game, we want him to be able to still be shooting left even though he's not moving. 
If I don't do that and I were to tell him to stop, then he's going to by default default back to shooting to the right and he'll always shoot to the right, which is definitely problematic. So I'll click OK and then I'll do my key release right and I will have him move to the right at a speed of zero. I'll test my game once again. And now he moves left, right. If I keep it pressed, he keeps going. If I let go, he stops. Okay. And that's what we have so far for movement, which is a great place for you to now take over. So what you should do is create this sample game, have your character move left, right, and add up and down, and I will um, and I will provide this source file for this part so far, and I will give it a name that will make sense. And good luck, and we'll return in the next lesson, and you'll be able to advance to adding walls and having uh, our wonderful character Bilbo uh, stop when he collides with a wall. Okay, good luck.